This cyclorotor powered fixed wing is what I've been working on the past few weeks. I'll show you how I made it. This is my first attempt to be the world's first cyclorotor powered fixed wing. It wasn't very successful because the motor went in the middle here and it didn't generate enough thrust. So this time I'm going to be using a dual rotor setup which should hopefully get it off the ground. Here's the design I'm going to use. It'll just be a lifting body which means that there's no fuselage, wing, or tail. It'll all be combined into one, with elevons in the back, and then the two rotors in the front for thrust. With one rotor made, I just have to make one more. Here's a quick time lapse of the final assembly. This version of the rotor is a big step. Not including the servo, it weighs 95 grams and produces 250 grams of thrust. I achieved this by sourcing lighter bearings and screws, switching out some screws for wooden dowel rods, and reducing the size of 3D printed parts. I just glued the dowels into the airfoils and friction fit the bearings onto them, which saved a lot of weight over the screws. This also significantly reduced centrifugal forces experienced by the airfoils. As it turns out, the CG was very far off. I fixed it and ended up having one successful flight here. However, this happened. So basically, one of the airfoils slipped free from the press fit inside the bearing, and that caused the whole rotor to shake itself apart because it was unbalanced. I guess this proves that press fitting a bearing onto a wooden dowel is no or as reliable as a screw. In the next version, I'm going to be using an M2 that is lighter than the M3s I've been using, but, sh but it should still get me the security of having them screwed in. To cap off this video, here's a freeze frame from when the rotor exploded. You can see that one of the rotors is perpendicular to the others, which is definitely not a good thing when you're trying to get something to fly.